Because then you can like transition out into the party. Okay, ready? One, two, three. We've all got a light to shine, and this is how I'm shining mine. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while. Life has been pretty crazy on my end. School has been busy. This is my last year of university, so just, you know, like, it's like the final crunch. It's the final, like, year of your undergrad, and it's, there's just a lot of emotions with that. So it's been busy, and then swimming has been great. It's been a lot of work. I've actually swam more meters so far at this point in the season than I like ever have so that's really amazing but it's just tiring and a lot of work. Uh, church is good, wedding planning is going well, it's a little bit stressful. There's just so many things that like I don't know that I need to do that I'm learning about but it's really fun. Like I love all the details and things are starting to come together and it's just it's such a happy time. I'm very excited about it. Kevin's really excited about it and it's uh yeah it's an exciting period and it's gonna be a very exciting year. Um, so anyways speaking of Kevin he is actually in Montreal right now visiting me for a week and so I am on my way to his Airbnb to meet up with him for a little bit we're going to be uh, what is it we have some work to do because I got some school works to do he's got some photos to edit so I'm gonna go and hang out with him for a little bit and then we actually have an engagement party that our friends are putting on for us later this evening which is super sweet of them it's gonna be exciting uh, don't really know like what's gonna happen in it all I know is the time and where to be so it's a little bit of a surprise so that's gonna be super sweet so I thought I would document that but yeah I'm off to see Kevin and we will go see what he's up to and yeah let's go find him alrighty um, just got to his Airbnb I think he's on like the third floor so I'm gonna climb these steps and I'm quickly realizing that I am out of vlog fitness aka talking to a camera while walking so if you are wondering why I'm breathing heavily it is because I obviously have not filmed for a while here we go Bienvenue chez moi nice Thank you, Google Translate. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. <laughs> What's up? My ex-boyfriend. Uh, okay, bye. You get it? Cause uh, this? No. You get it? You get it? You get it. What? Uh, you have a tag still on your jacket. It's your sweater. Oh, yeah? Let me take this off for you. All right. Okay, hold this. Oh, yeah. This is sick. Gotcha. That's embarrassing. This is how it works. This is what you do walking yeah, down the street. This is awesome. What's up, guys? I'm gonna take over the vlog now. <laughs> I know you guys have like really been waiting for me to, you know, like do this thing. What? I know, I'm, I'm sorry you've had to deal with Danielle for the last three years. How long have you been vlogging? Yeah, three years. Three years, yeah. You know, it's just about to get a lot better though. So uh, you heard my uh, last video. If you didn't, you can click right here and uh, watch the little engagement thing. But um, for those of you who haven't, who don't know, which I feel like everyone kind of knows at this point, um, Kevin proposed. Hooray! <laughs> that is not anything. This is actually like the first time in, since we got engaged like two months ago that we actually get to be together in person. It's a miracle. And that's really nice. Without the hype of the engagement. Yeah. What I like about it is like there's no like extraness, right, to the, to any of this. It's just like living together, finally experiencing what we've always wanted to for the last, you know, year and a half. It's like this the stuff that we talk about is just like doing daily life together. Mm-hmm. 
yeah, it's been really fun and it also has been a great reminder that we can wish for a lot of things in life. Like we can always be thinking about the next best thing, the next thing to do, the next opportunity, the next season of life. But um, we had a moment yesterday where we were just like sitting in the fact that like this is something that we prayed for. This is like something that we've wanted for a long time and to not wish for it like to go by so quickly. Uh, Cause yes, like we are super excited for our wedding and stuff and all the planning, but it's just really like been such a great reminder that like what we have right now is really good yeah. and so whatever you have right now whether that is um i don't even know really it could be anything like wherever you're at in life right now um there is so much uh to be thankful for and grateful for and things to experience because the likelihood that you will ever experience them again in the same capacity is not and likely i think there's something like i love the idea that um my pastor says this, and my roommate, shout out Ben, um, says this, but it's like this idea of like be where your feet are planted. Um, and I think like it's, we have an overemphasis on looking at what's next, right? Even in wedding planning, it's like you're planning for a day and you get caught up in the day and you don't realize like what you have in the engagement now, but also what you're planning for in the future, like beyond that day. And it's just like, like take the time to just be present right now in this moment, be still, be thankful, like Daniel said. Um, and like everything ends up falling into place. Um, but I think so often we, we find ourselves running after things when we could really just be walking. Walk. And she walks faster than me. That is the truth. Oh my goodness. Wow. Clean up nice. I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about her. Oh my, look at that. Sure, How do you feel? I feel great. I don't excited? know what to expect. Excited? Yes, very excited. It's like the one year to wear white. The one year to wear white. Past Labor Day. I never understand what that means. But then you can like transition out into the party. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way, I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way.